हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फ्यूचर इंजीनियर टूडेज टॉपिक इज कंपोनेंट और एलिमेंट्स ऑफ हाइड्रोग्राफ वी हैव सीन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ हाइड्रोग्राफ इन लास्ट वीडियो नाउ वी विल सी इन डिटेल अबाउट देम हाइड्रोग्राफ हैज थ्री कैरेक्टरिस्टिक रीजन फर्स्ट इज राइजिंग लिम फ्रॉम ए टू बी दैट इज दिस पोर्शन ऑफ द ग्राफ Second is crest or peak segment from B to C. This above portion. And the third important component is falling or recession limb from C to D. This one. Now let us see what is rising limb. The rising limb of hydrograph also known as con concentration curve represents the increase in discharge due to gradual building up of storage in canal and over the catchment surface this was catchment area over which rainfall for duration d occurred we have seen after the initial losses of water through infiltration interception evaporation etc water collect on the catchment surface and in the canals and then this water begin to run off towards catchment outlet this area which is nearest to outlet of catchment run off will from here first this one after that area which is away from outlet run off will occur from there from this part and like this water will begin to run off from different areas and at last run off will occur from remotest area this farthest part so that is why the discharge at the outlet will increase with time the initial loss and high infiltration loss during the early period of storm caused the discharge to rise rather slowly in the initial period rising limb will increase slowly in initial period due to losses we have discussed that and as the storm continues more and more flow from distant part reach the basin outlet basin and storm characteristics control the shape of rising limb means rising limb will depend on basin or watershed characteristic such as shape and size of basin slope of basin drainage density etc for example if basin shape is elongated or fern shaped like this rising limb will increase slowly and the peak of hydrograph will be low if basin shape is fan shaped that is nearly circular shape like this then in this case rising limb will increase rapidly and the peak of hydrograph will be high rising limb will also depends on the storm characteristics such as rainfall intensity duration movement etc this was all about rising limb now let us see about crest or peak segment this is important part of our graph as it contains peak flow crest segment is from inflection point on rising limb to falling limb point b and c are inflection point inflection point is the point where curvature of the curve changes 
as you can see up to the point b curve was something concave and after that it became convex from point b to c crest segment indicate the peak flow that is maximum amount of flow at basin outlet maximum amount of flow is obtained at point b and it generally occurs when the run off begin to occur from farthest area of catchment the peak flow occurs when run off various part of catchment simultaneously contribute amount of to achieve maximum amount of flow at basin outlet this is only written here and generally for large catchment peak flow occurs after cessation of rainfall means in large catchment peak flow occurs after rainfall stop as it will take time for the run off to move from different part of catchment storm and basin characteristics control shape of crest segment means the shape of crest segment like rising limb also depends on basin and storm characteristics now let us move to falling or recession limb it is from point of inflection at the end of crest segment to base flow point d means from point c to d inflection point represent the time at which rain stop that is condition of maximum storage when rainfall will stop at the time storage of water will be maximum and after that storage will begin to deplete due to run off at the basin outlet and the hydrograph slope will fall or decrease that is the thing it's saying point c is the point when rain stopped and it is a condition of maximum storage shape of falling limb is independent on storm characteristic but depends upon watershed characteristic since the depletion of storage take place after cessation of rainfall as falling limb started after the rainfall stop so it only depends on watershed characteristics obviously when there will be no rainfall how it will depend on storm characteristics rising limb and crest segment were dependent on storm characteristics but falling limb will not depend so these three were important region of hydrograph i hope you all understood it now let's see about time characteristic of hydrograph first is time base of hydrograph you can see in the picture this is the time base from b to e b is the starting point of direct runoff means when the surface runoff started and e is the end point of direct runoff below the direct runoff we have base flow means initial ground water flow of stream or canals second one is lag time tl here it is from center of mass of rainfall to center of mass of hydrograph and the third one is time to peak here from point b 
that is starting to direct runoff to peak flow point P and fourth rainfall duration here it is it show the duration for which rainfall occurred so let's look the definition of this time base of hydrograph it is the time from beginning to end of direct runoff from point b to point e that is beginning and end of direct runoff lag time it is difference in time between the center of mass of net rainfall and center of mass of runoff means time between maximum rainfall and maximum runoff third one is time to peak it is a time difference between the beginning of direct runoff point b to peak we saw it and fourth one rainfall duration it is the effective rainfall duration which cause direct runoff this was all about time characteristics of hydrograph now let's see what is base flow direct runoff and interflow terms in hydrograph first base flow is normal discharge of the river or stream or canal it means before rainfall there must be some groundwater table flow this groundwater flow is called base flow suppose this is a side view of a catchment this is the surface and this is the groundwater table below the surface of catchment when rainfall will occur some water will infiltrate through the rocks and pebbles and delaying the surface and some water will run off to streams from the surface after infiltration some water will reach the ground water table and this ground water will reach to the stream and will discharge this is called base flow and the runoff above the surface is called direct runoff direct runoff volume of water reaching the river outlet from the surface runoff and interflow volume of water reaching the river through the soil or undulating rocks layer as we discussed earlier hydrograph consists of flow in all these three phases of runoff all the all these three runoff will be seen in hydrograph please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates